Yeah, we are working on this um, BMW 4 Series and the uh, airbag control module has been changed. Not this one here, it's this one which is under the pedals here, just at the top, literally at the top here. Um, airbag had been deployed out uh, in this car and what's uh, stayed on is after changing the airbags on this vehicle, um, the person hasn't changed this. Um, and he's changed the other one that's here, which it wasn't that one that had triggered, it was actually this one here. So they have changed it, and after doing a full diagnostic scan and clear on the vehicle, it's come back with these. I'm not bothered about that one, it's actually these two here that's uh, causing the light to actually stay on. So, what we'll do is we'll come out of this. Um, you can try and erase it, but you ain't got a prayer, really. You know, I've tried to erase it here, it is successful but really it hasn't so we'll have to come out of that and then go into programming and come back out of it you go into programming here and um this is just telling you the ins and outs this is how you need to have the cable which i have and i've got other videos of how you connect all these cable up um you can look at it by all means um anyway we'll press ok and then i'll just move on to the next step here we are uh, it's brought this now and um, in a second it will move on to another option. So here we are. We'll just press next. This will go through all the modules. So here we are on the coding section. So what you'll need to do is go into coding and then selective coding. It's already highlighted what needs coding but I'm not going to go through everything. Uh, the only thing we need is the ACSM, which is this one here. So we'll unhighlight everything else. And uh, we'll do actually front electronic module just for the sake of this and rear. So it's going to connect to the internet in a second and download the files. Downloading the files. It's now telling us to disconnect the internet, which has already done itself. So, yeah, we're already at where we need to be. And it's going to go through every single one of these and uh, hopefully code it in. It will say here coded uh, or successful or unsuccessful. I'll tell us as it's doing as it. As you can see, it says successful, coded, coded. Um, it's doing it one at a time. As you can see, it's been successful. Everything's coded in nicely. It's already, without even me doing all, it's already deleting the fault codes that's stored in within the um, airbag control module. Um, as you can see, the airbag light has gone. Um, that's to do with the lighting system because one of the headlights not fitted yet. Um, yeah. So that's where we stand really. Let's turn off the cluster itself and it will turn it back on in a second. There we go. There we are. So really nothing's popped back on.